All right, guys, so now we're going to go and build the actual world that we're going to use. So this was a, you were practicing with the different uh, smooth tools, the ramp tools, etc. cetera. Uh, once you've played around with that, now it's time to start building your own uh, world. Now, you could technically continue with this one. But if you've experimented a lot, you might be better off just starting over. So um, that's the easiest thing to do. Let's go to the map section. Wherever you have that saved. There it is. And I'm, what I'm going to do is you could keep it or you could just delete it. What I'm going to do is, so I re, if you haven't done it and it's called level one for some reason, just if you're deleting it, change the name. So right click, rename, and rename it practice or something like that so you know you don't have to use it maybe you want to use it later so what we're going to do now is we're going to create another level we're going to go file new level and we're going to call this one definitely level one and just like use default and same thing as a while ago you're going to delete this um, and i'm going to go to the uh, landscape mode and select 31 by 31 and you could already pick a material if you wanted to but we're going to keep a blank and I'll show you how to do that with the blank. So there's my, so I have the size. And one thing that I'm going to show you to move around quickly is when you click on the W key, oops, that W in the right. So this is a way to move around quickly. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the E key and, and uh, right click. And I, this is a, a quick way to do it so we can center and see everything from the top. All right. So the W right click and E right click and R right click. Well, moves it like this and D right click moves it sideways. All right. It's a, it's a way to move large masses. And now what we want to do is we want to create like a perimeter and I'm going to do it this way. Now you could take a little bit more time to, uh, smooth it out and all this and since you've already experimented with the brush you should probably know how to do this now and so the perimeter is just so our character doesn't fall off i mean there's other ways to program it but to keep things simple since we're just starting out we're just creating like a large level and uh we're gonna, i'm going to show you a few things in a second that we need to fix with the player start uh, and maybe these are not high enough and maybe you want to build the ramps maybe you want to build uh, you know, a little mountain here where you can put your castle on eventually. I'll leave that up to you. And with a ramp and with a flattened section like you saw in the tutorial from the, uh, the fella. So. All right. I'm going to say that's good enough, but I could go down there and have a look if I want to. So I'll click W right click. And we'll go and have a click another uh, hotkey F. A way to move quicker so there you go so just hit the hot key f so i'm pretty happy with that so i'm going to again hit e and move out so it's very fast this way and i'm going to make a lake somewhere and again uh, you hit the shift key and hit the uh, left mouse button and it basically makes a big hole where you want your lake to be and maybe like i said you maybe want a mountain I want to change this cool tool to flatten. Well, you'd have to make a, uh, before you use the flatten tool, you'd have to make a little mound where you can put your castle. Go get the flatten tool. And let's do that. I might not be at the best height to do this. Um, you definitely are going to need a ramp. So maybe we want to go and get a ramp. But we'll have to go back down there. So press F. Oops, I'm in the wrong tool mode. I probably want to be in this mode and then press F. I'll have to zoom in W and just zoom in a little bit slow. We'll just go see how high that is. That might be too high. But anyways, that's kind of the thing that you can figure out uh, what you guys want for your thing. That's kind of high. Anyways, I'll let you guys figure that part out. You may decide that you don't even want a mound there. So we go Command Z, get rid of it. And you're ready to basically start working on the materials. So 
before we do that, we have to do something quite important, which is saving it. So we're going to go File, Save Current As, and the other one was renamed Practice, so that's really important because you may not use it at all. So Level 1. So this is the one that we are going to work on to add our materials. If you have any questions, please let me know.